Hello, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> hello, Edgar. How are you? I'm very well. What about you? I'm good. I'm fine. All nice. right. Nidia, you're there. Hello. Hi, teacher. Yeah, I was, you know, I was about to ask you, are you at home or are you in the pharmacy? In the pharmacy today. <laughs> so, uh, Nidia, what, no, you don't say turn, you say shift. So you have the night shift. Uh, okay. No, 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 it's shift with an F. Shift. Pronounce uh, the F, shift. please. Shift. Okay. Yes. Um, what time do you finish? Uh, 10 o'clock. Okay, good. So when, when you finish late at night, you have the night shift. But if you work all night until the next morning, that's called graveyard shift. Okay. I think... Who, Susana, I think, in this class, she said that she sometimes works the uh, graveyard shift. Graveyard shift, shift is like when you work from, from what? Eight at night until six in the morning. That's the, that's the great shift. Hi, Joanna. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hi, Laura. Mama. Hi. Mama. And you, Joanna, how are you? Uh, nice, teacher. A little sick, but nice. <laughs> I noticed that everybody's getting sick in the, in these days. Because maybe because of the rain. Yes. Well, then let me open my platform. Sorry, teacher. Give me one second. I am opening my platform. One second, please. One second, it's opening. Come on, open, 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 open. There's Laura. Hey, Laura and Joanna, your your house is green. Huh? Your the uh, yeah. It's the same color. Hey, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Or or are you family? Do you live in the same house? No. <laughs> no. This side is green and the other side is white. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay, good. It's open. Let's see. Put a open saddle. So yesterday we were doing the world, the uh, auxiliary verbs. Here, let me let me share my screen.
Okay, do you see the lady? Yes, teacher. The scary lady. <laughs> okay, so remember we did this yesterday. Let me see if I remember. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Do you see my screen right now? Yes, teacher. What do you see? Eh, garganta. Hold on, let me try. Okay, forget. Okay, let me see the chat. Oh, wait, I know what to do. Hold on, please. Let's use Word. Okay, do you see my Word document? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, so. Okay, this is what this lesson, this lesson is trying to teach you how to use contractions. Now, there's one important thing I want to recommend to you. I need a, I need a volunteer who wants to be a volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay. Everybody, look at Laura. Laura, podemos ver su boca. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> now, Laura, quiero que me diga en español cómo se llama esto. Uh, no, no lo veo, teacher. Pero el labio. Okay, enséñame su boca, por favor, y dígalo. Love you. Okay. Look, th thank you, Laura. Laura said this. La vio. No se preocupe, Laura, porque todos lo pronunciamos igual, pero usted mencionó la B pequeña, no la B grande. Ah, okay. Y hay una razón por la que estoy diciendo esto. La B pequeña solo se pronuncia con el labio de abajo. Labio, pero la B grande se pronuncia con los dos. 
la de, el de arriba y el de abajo. Entonces, la forma correcta, Laura, sería la bio. Okay. Dígalo hoy, hasta se va a sentir rara diciéndolo. Dígalo. La bio. ¿Para que se siente raro? Sí. Ah, la Como bio. decir biología, pero sí. Ajá. Y, Usualmente y se... uno dice la bio. Ajá. Y hasta uno se siente raro. La bio, la bio. Okay. Así no la es. Bio. Y sí, así es. Entonces, ¿por qué digo esto? Porque nosotros, no sé si solo somos salvadoreños, pero yo creo que somos todos los latinos porque a veces veo noticieros y, y pronunciamos muy mal o no nos importa. <ríe> eh, eh, porque a veces decimos, vení, vení con B grande. Vení. ¿Dónde está fulano? Ah, está de vacaciones. O sé sea que en pocas palabras no nos importa pronunciar la, la B o la V igual. Ahora, en inglés, eso sí es un problema. Porque en inglés, eh, el español, como tiene tildes, tiene acentos, todo, bla, 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 se habla del estómago. El inglés se define con los labios. Nunca han notado cuando le dicen, bueno, mi nombre es David, pero en inglés cuando la gente dice David. Me lo dicen con B grande, David. Y es David. Cuando pido algo, mi apellido es Baltrons. Baltrons. Ba Oigan qué diferencia. Baltrons a Baltrons. Y siempre que pido algo, pizza, pollo campero, whatever. Su nombre es David Baltrons. ¿Ve grande o ve pequeña? Eso en español es común. En inglés nunca me lo van a pedir. Porque tengo que ser específico. Valtrans o Valtrans. O sea, nunca me van a decir Big B o Little B. <ríe> no. ¿Ok? Entonces lo que voy es, en inglés tenemos que aprender a usar los labios. Cerrar la boca para decirlo. Nunca han oído a la gente que dice, my name is. Miren, miren mi boca, la gente así dice, my name is. Es imposible decir esa, esa palabra sin cerrar la boca. Es, my name is. 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 Ok, so, la razón que les digo esto es porque yo no apoyo mucho este tema que vamos a ver hoy, que es de usar las contracciones. Las contracciones no son necesarias decir, hacerlas. Yo les recomiendo primero, practiquemos en decirlas la forma formal y después la forma contractada. Si no lo decimos formal bien, es como aprender a manejar, si no... Si no aprendemos a salirnos de primera, ¿cómo vamos a meter segunda? Para los que manejan estándar. So, going back. I, now look, I have gone. Have you gone to, Edgar, have you gone to Mexico? No, teacher, I haven't gone yet. Okay, good. Thank you. Haven't. Joanna, have you eaten... Taco Bell? Yes, teacher. I have eaten Taco Bell. Very good. Now, contraction would be, yes, teacher, I've eaten Taco Bell. Repeat. Yes, teacher, I've eaten Taco Bell. I've eaten. I eaten. I eaten. 
No. I've. I've. Exactly. I've. Very good. Thanks. I've eaten. So I've is a contraction for I have. Okay. But listen, I don't recommend you to use contractions. In, in this moment, no. I recommend you to speak normal, formal. Because when you speak contractions is when you are speaking more. Okay? Okay, teacher. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this for, this is for the whole class. I recommend you then. Okay, so let's see. Let's do a listening exercise. Three people describe some serious environmental problems. Choose the right answer. What are environmental problems? Do you know what environmental problems are? You see, that's the problem. If you don't know what environmental is, will you understand the listening? No. Tengo nueve personas en la clase y nadie me está hablando. No sé si me oyen o yo estoy hablando solo, pero saben que es environmental. Medio ambiente. Thank you. Problem with the pollution. Yeah, okay. Pollution is environmental. Yes, thank you. Ah, medio ambiente. Yes. La Ruta 101, San Salvador. <laughs> That's a very big environmental problem for El Salvador. The buses. Okay. So... Man, open up. Okay, so listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Choose the right answer. Let's hear. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Write each problem in the chart. One, Jenny. You know, I've been reading a lot about the problem of landfills, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way of disposing of trash is by burying it in landfills. The problem is that in many countries the landfills have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. No one wants a huge landfill anywhere near their neighborhood. So, what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. But many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. 2. Adam I can't believe it's become dangerous to get a suntan. What is this world coming to? Well, the sun has never been good for you, but it's really dangerous now. You see, the ozone layer, which helps protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, has been damaged by pollution in the air. When the ozone layer gets too thin, it can cause an increase in skin cancer and other problems. But is there anything we can do to solve the problem? Sure. One of the biggest threats to the ozone layer is cars, the exhaust gases from cars. The best way to save the ozone layer is to drive less. So in many places, people are being asked to carpool. Three, Katie. You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve. But basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully 
so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. Page 46, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again. What can be done to solve each problem? Complete the chart. 1. Jenny. You know, I've been reading a lot about the problem of landfills, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way of disposing of trash is by burying it in landfills. The problem is that in many countries the landfills have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. No one wants a huge landfill anywhere near their neighborhood. So, what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. But many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. 2. Adam I can't believe it's become dangerous to get a suntan. What is this world coming to? Well, the sun has never been good for you, but it's really dangerous now. You see, the ozone layer, which helps protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, has been damaged by pollution in the air. When the ozone layer gets too thin, it can cause an increase in skin cancer and other problems. But is there anything we can do to solve the problem? Sure. One of the biggest threats to the ozone layer is cars, the exhaust gases from cars. The best way to save the ozone layer is to drive less. So in many places, people are being asked to carpool. 3. Katie You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve. But basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. Okay, so what is Jenny's problem? Landfills. 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 What is Adams? The timing of that ozone layers. Ozone layers. Ozone layers. What about Katis? Water, Water pollution. pollution. All right. Okay, let's do this listening and see what's going on. Are you able to give solution to problems? Listen to the conversation and find out about the problem Carla and Andy talk about and what solutions they come up with. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is, but a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then, another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh, no. My uncle is one of their top executives. 
What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Wait a minute. Before we do anything, shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see what exactly is happening. How do we do that? Well, we can take pictures of the river and even take water samples to see how bad the situation is. We can get some friends to help. Okay. And maybe I could talk to my uncle about it. Oh, no. I don't think that's a good idea. Not yet, anyway. Why not? I don't think we want to say anything to anyone until we have a clearer picture of what is going on. After we've monitored the situation for a while, then we can decide whether we need to have a meeting with a representative of the company to tell them what we've discovered. Okay, Carla? Okay. Did you listen to the entire conversation? If you did, tell me what Carla and Andy decide to do. So what are they going to do? Are they going to go and talk and right now or what? Okay, let's continue. So in this class, you will learn how to talk about solutions using infinitive clauses and phrases. Do you know what infinitives are? Okay, I imagine you do if you're not if you're not saying anything. Okay, okay, so let's do infinitive clauses and phrases. Here's the video. This time we'll come up with infinitive clauses and phrases to come up with solutions. Pay attention and take notes. Infinitive clauses and phrases. One thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. The best ways to fight HIV AIDS are to do more research and educate people. Let's go back and notice the expressions used on the grammar box. One thing, another way, the best ways. With these expressions, we must continue using one way plus infinitive plus is or are plus infinitive. For example, one way to help the homeless is to build more public housing. Now that you have learned to give solutions, can you think of two more for these problems? Remember to do it on our discussion box. Okay, you see class, no questions, no participations. So I assume you understand. Um, find one or more solutions for each problem. Irma, can you do number one, please? Read and your option. Church. Yes. Sorry, what does it mean? Coming in. Coming in. Famine. Famine. Famine is, for example, when famine happens in Africa, in India. When a lot, a lot of people are hungry, there's no food. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There's a famine in Africa, for example. Like, like, no, you know, in IT, in IT, there's a famine. People have no food. Hasta vi un reportaje de que han aprendido a hacer galletas de arena. Okay, Irma, number one. 
one way to reduce farming is to train people in modern farming methods. Number two. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Irma, ¿qué me dijo? ¿En español? Sí, por favor, ¿qué me dijo en español? Eh, la, una manera de, de reducir la hambruna es hambruna, eh, probando uh, modernos métodos. Sí. No remember. Farming es como de granja. agricultura. Agricultura, thank you. Yes. Very good. All right, good job, Irma. Hambruna, that's the that's the right word, Laura. Thank you, Irma. It's hambruna. Laura, can you tell me number two, please? The best, the best way to fight HIV AIDS is to build more public housing to train people. Um, Uh, so number five to provide ways for people to voice their concerns. You think this is the best way to fight AIDS? I think la, it's that feature because o sea the other la, thing. La mejor forma de luchar contra el SIDA es dar la oportunidad a la gente que hable acerca de sus preocupaciones. Es que el primero habla acerca de, de como de, um, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Pero qué cree que es más importante? Casa. ¿Educar a la gente acerca de la enfermedad o dejarlos hablar de sus preocupaciones? Educar sobre la enfermedad, pero no sé cuál de las otras opciones. Public housing. Look, to educate people on the street. Oh. Pero ¿sabe qué, Laura? Aquí cualquier, aquí cualquier respuesta es... It's okay. Pero esa quizás tiene un poquito más de. Yeah, the best way to fight AIDS. Is, uh -huh. The best way to fight AIDS is to educate people. Let me tell you a story why United States and Europe are very advanced and Latin America is not. To educate people, okay. In El Salvador, the majority of the schools are religious, correct? Okay, ¿quién me está oyendo? Por favor, oh man. Let's... Bueno, okay. so let's go, number three then. Sí. No sé si me oyen, no sé si están, quieren participar. Realmente sí. es bien feo hablar solo. Sí. En serio, sí. Samuel, tengo una semana no saber de él. Eh, Laura, yo sé que no están participando, pero igual los que están con cámara, con las preguntas solo se quedan así. Es, no, no sé si me oyen. Es que el problema es que yo no sé si me oyen. Y si me oyen, qué feo es que no me respondan, porque yo había muchos temas interesantes que hubiera querido compartir con ustedes anteriormente, pero les dije, ¿Do you have questions? No. ¿Le hice preguntas? Quiet, quiet, quiet. Yo no quiero aprender, ustedes sí. Hmm. 
Ya yes, eso, you know, tienen. Ok, number three. One way to stop political unrest is. What do you think, Les? To provide ways for mm -hmm. people to voice their concerns. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that, that's a very good option. Uh, number four, one thing to improve air quality is. Okay. Develop cleaner public transportation. Yes, because the public trans, for example, the public transportation in El Salvador is terrible. Yeah. The the pollution. But in Mexico is I think it's the worst. There are, there are a lot of traffic. Not the traffic, the pollution. Yeah. China too. I think it's China. Okay, number five. The best way to reduce poverty is to start free vacational training programs. Okay. Number six. One thing to help homeless the homeless is to more more public access. Okay, good. Let me see if we have them all. Okay, good. We got them all right. One, two, three, four, five paragraphs. Edgar, a ver, can you please read the first paragraph here, please? All right, teacher. And when you finish, can you pick the next person, please? Okay. Thank you. The people of of Kero, Kerovas are afraid that one day in the near future, their country will disappear. Literally, literally several times in the past few years, the Pacific Island motion nation. Has, has been, nation has been flooded by sudden high tides. These tides which swept across the island and, and destroyed houses came when there was neither wind nor rain. The older citizen or Caribadi Caribadi has Caribadi say say this has never happened before. I'm going to choose. Let me see. But somebody with camera, please. Okay, Irma Raquel. <laughs> okay. El segundo par. Yes, please. Okay. Kiribati consists of 33 islands scattered across 3,860 3, kilometers, 2,400 miles of the Pacific. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. In English, please. So the number is 3,860 kilometers, 2,400 miles. Kiribati consists of 33 islands. Islands. Across, mm -hmm. across 3,816 kilometers. 2,400. 2,400 of the Pacific Ocean near the Ecuador. E they Equator. Are Equator. They are particularly reenacted by high tides because none 
of the islands the Kiribati rise more than two meters six five feet above sea level. Okay. Questions? Okay. The world he three attended. Threatened, amenazados. They are threatened. Okay. Okay, can you choose the next person, please? Teacher. Yes. Sorry. Scattered. Scattered. What does it mean? Scattered. scattered. Thank you. No, it's scattered. Scattered. No, listen to me, please. Scattered. Okay, Laura, you have to pronounce an S. Scatter, S scatter. Do you hear me, Laura? Scatter. Can you repeat, please? Yes, you have to pronounce an S. Scatter. Scatter. Yes. So what does scatter mean? Sorry. Scatter is, okay, look, it says 33 islands, but they are scattered. So they are spread. They are not together. Yes? No? Yes, okay. teacher. Oh man, Irma, I'm so oh, thank you, Joanna. I'm suffering today. Okay, Laura, listen. Hawaii. I don't know how many islands Hawaii has, but all the islands are not together. They are scattered. Do you understand? Yes, thank you. What is scattered? Something that is not together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, so maybe, maybe from one island to another island, you have to go by plane. Mm -hmm. So that there are little pieces of islands separated. Disperses. Yes. Okay, um, Irma, can you choose the next person to read, please? Joanna. Thank you. What is causing this? What is causing these mysterious ties? Mm -hmm. The answer may be global warning. Warning. Warming. When. Warming. Mm -hmm. When when feel, feels this when feels like oil and coal are burned, they release pollution that trap heat in the earth's atmosphere. Atmosphere. These atmospheres. Atmospheres. Atmospheres, mm -hmm. rising tem temperatures, great, great more water by melting gla glaciers and polar ice caps. So that that's what's happening with the global warming. So when the oil and the coal are burning, it creates more water and the water melts, the, the ice. Melts. Okay, um, Joanna, can you choose the next person, please? Uh, 
Laura. Laura, I'm sorry, Laura. Laura, I'm sorry. Do you have a microphone? Or is the microphone? Yes. Okay, because I don't know. I, I hear the TV. Sorry, no, I am no, no, the, okay. the reference. Uh, no, it's okay. What I'm saying is maybe put your microphone. No, no, just do this. Scientist, now it is better? Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you. Scientists say that if the trend continues, many countries will suffer. Bangladesh, for example, I can see the rest. You see it? Might lose one fifth of its land. Bangladesh. Okay. Ban Bang Bangladesh, for example, might lose one fifth of its land. However, the Kota Island nation of the Pacific, like Kiribati, sorry, and the Marshall Island will face an even worse thing. They will be shallow? Swallowed. Swallow. They will be swallowed by the sea. This will be everyone's loss. Cut off formation are home to more species than any other place on earth. Good. Thank you very much. Can you choose somebody else, please, to read? I think your only options are Nidia or Irma. Teacher, I don't know if my internet or yours, but you are freezing. I think I think it's me. What about now? Yes, now. now. Okay. No. Um, can you ask? You only have Nidia or Irma. To read the next paragraph. Okay, thank you. Nidia, the next paragraph, right? Okay, thank you. I introduce to the people of this. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. The people of this nation uh, feel frustrated. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Frustrated? Yes. Yes. The ocean. Um, the ocean on which their economies have always been based is suddenly uh, mm -hmm. reattaining uh, their expenses. Uh, there are no easy transfer. Okay, no. No, continue, please. Oh, no. Okay. These nations don't have a lot of money, so they can afford fancy solutions like sea wells, and they have no control over pollution, which are being relied mainly the large industrialized countries. And they can do can do so can do better. Can do is to hope that these countries uh, will take fix the reduced pollution and therefore global warming. Thank you. Okay. So, can anybody tell me what's going to happen or why? What's wrong with Kiribati? Okay, let's do the next part. 
the people is losing their land because the uh, pollution. But there is no pollution in Kiribati. But the environmental pollution in general, because yes, the glaciers are are melting, is the word. Yes. So the the water is increasing. Um, they have. A, I don't know how do you say inundation. Floods. Sorry. Floods. Floods. Yes, very that's, good. I, Thank you. That's why I understood. Yes, exactly. And that's that's what's happening. So then the water is raising. Suddenly the water maybe will cover the island. So the island is going to disappear. Yeah. Can you imagine how terrible that is? Well, some people say that Central America is going to disappear when, uh, with, I don't know, when more glaciers uh, get melt and by but, but, the uh, But that's going to be in a few hundred years. So we, we're okay so far. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Unfortunately, yes. But you know, that story is, is old. It's like Mexico. Remember Mexico is sinking? I think Jalisco? No. There's a there's a state in Mexico that every year is is Guadalajara. Cada año. Segundo una pulgada o dos, creo. I think also Venice. Belize. Venice in Italy. Oh, Venice. 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 Oh, yeah. I think I, I, I think I heard something like that. In. In, in, in algún momento. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's, it's one time I heard that. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's true. Maybe it's true. You know, that happens here. Have you ever gone to La Puntilla? Yes. Have you ever but gone? I don't like that beach. Why? Because when you uh, stand... Uh, over the um, the line between land and the sea, this I don't know. The opening. Yes. Oh yes, it happened. And you go boom. <laughs> yes, and that's what I don't like. It's true that that happened to me one time. Y suerte andaba chineado a mi man. I was walking normally, and then suddenly, boom! And the water covered me. So I remember I just pick up my son and. <clears throat> yes, it's true. But in La Puntilla, if you go to the islands, to the restaurants in the island. In the afternoon, the tide, la marea, goes up and it covers the restaurants. So it's like you're in the middle of, it's nice. I like that. That's nice. Yes. Okay, class, do you have any special plans for this weekend? Okay, do you have any questions? Not yet, teacher. I think I'm going to take my daughter to Cleveland. Maybe it's not full. I recommend you to go. Uh, it opens at three. Go at three. Sorry. Cleveland opens at three. Three p.m. Yes, I recommend you okay. to go at that hour. 
Okay. Because it's empty. Yes, because I take trouble places. I can't be there. Okay. Um, what are you watching? Sorry, it's my daughter. What is she watching? She has, um, she's watching um YouTube Kids. It's a uh, how do you say caricatura? Cartoons. Does she yeah, watch? Cartoons. Does she watch Jose Comelon? Uh, no, she's watching something. I don't know. <laughs> Jose Comelon is funny. Hola. Mi cabeza parece papita. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, so I recommend you go at three. It's the best time to go. What about you, Irma? What's your plan for the weekend? Or to the other Irma. Irma Galdames, welcome okay. to the class. <laughs> Thank I missed you, you today. Oh. oh, yeah, I'm very sad because I was late. It's okay. Uh, thank you so How much. How was your day today? <laughs> my, my, my weekend is work. <laughs> oh, you have to work on the weekend. Right? I don't have. I Yesterday was my day off. And... So I have to work from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Every and Saturday. Yeah. And every day that is your normal schedule from 10 to 7? No. No, it's rotated. Uh, the first days of the week, I, I get home, I get job and mm -hmm. my work at 8. 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. until until 5 p.m. Look, but what 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 time do you leave your house? What what, what time? Yes, what I time? Have, I have live I have live if I if I go early. I have to leave my home at uh, five or six. But if I if I take the bus at six a.m., <laughs> I am in trouble because the traffic in Soyapango okay. is terrible. Yes. Hey, but did you see what's what the government's going to do in, in next year? No. The presentation no. lo va a donar England or mm -hmm. van a ser un tren. A train from Soyapango. <laughs> no, no, pero es como un, como un teleférico. It's a, from Soyapango to Salvador del Mundo. From a, from a pop. Yeah, there's going to be like five destinations. It, that's, that's, <laughs> y del Salvador del Mundo, I think, to Santa Tecla. Knowing my people in, in Soyapango, everybody wants to be Hanging. Yes. Hanging. <laughs> From yes. Listen, Irma, if if like you a yo -yo. <laughs> when you go when you go to work early, do you know La Puma that is right next to Las Cascadas, the gas station, La Puma? Yeah. Yes. Okay. In front of La Puma is Gran Vía, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. In that street between La Gran Vía and La Puma. There's a mm -hmm. lady, there's a lady there every morning. She sells panes. Oh, I really great. recommend you. She sells oh, okay. panes con huevo, panes con plátanos, panes con frijoles, panes con frijoles y plátanos. I really <laughs> and, uh, eat it. <laughs> that was my favorite. My favorite is pan francés with beans and plátano. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I love delicious, that mix. Delicious, delicious. I am yeah. hungry. So, <laughs> I, I recommend you to go. She makes very good sandwiches. I think they're like oh. 35 cents. So I'm a, sorry, my 35 cents, I think they call. I remember because when I worked in, in the Telus in, in in Cascadas, every morning mm -hmm. I, I used to pass by her. Oh. She sells a doll, everything. She's there from four in the morning. 
when I was in Telus for a month, <laughs> by the way, was just for a month, uh, I always uh, pass, passed for that street, but I never saw her. Maybe no, that's I, it because I, it's in the morning. Sometimes she sells everything. And oh, in the afternoon, in the, the afternoon, afternoon, in the afternoon, oh. there's a pickup. No, no, no. That 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 lady, oh. she's in the morning. In the afternoon, there's a pickup. Esa ha sido el pickup más loco que he visto because you know how they sell everything. Everything they they sell nuegados, chilates, tostadas, tamales, pupusas, everything in that pickup. I have seen her, so I have seen her. Yeah. So I I I I will take your uh, recommendation, and yes. I will buy because uh, when I when I live at my work, I always I am hungry. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Yeah, go go there. <laughs> okay, class, then thank you very much. I hope you have a very good weekend. Enjoy. Okay, thank, thank you. you. I will see thank you Monday. You thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.